Hey Michelson viewers, it's Sam with Michelson Yachts and today I'm looking out of my desk window right here and I see the beautiful Michelson 62 Nomad foot and a half right here getting hauled out in the boat yard. So I'm gonna run down there and see if we can get a quick interview and walk through with the captain, the infamous Sam Wiseman. So thank you guys for watching and it's gonna be a cool video. All right, guys, here we go. Michelson's 62 foot and a half. Oh, and these guys right here. Say what up to the Michelson YouTube, guys. What's up? Hi, Michelson YouTube. All right, so Look this is- beautiful Michelson right here. Thank you, Jake. All right, so Captain Sam Wiseman right here. We got crew with us, Jake Powers right here. So what are you guys getting hauled out for today? Uh, bottom job, pulling the shafts. Just gonna put these seals on, maybe new bearings as well. Awesome. So what have you, tell me about some of the adventures you guys have been having on this thing. Because I saw this summer, you got, or not this summer, this winter, you guys were down in Mexico. How many miles did you put on it? How many hours? Biggest fish, all that good stuff. So we left in the uh, end of October last year. We went down to Cabo for a few weeks and then went up to Loretto. Stayed there for a number of months. Back down to Cabo for about six weeks and then back up to Loretto for four months. And, um, then we got back to Seattle last month fishing was great scenery was amazing how was it did you get to go at all lots of good fishing yeah i went on a few trips oh awesome how many hours did you guys put on the boat uh roughly 500 600. okay yeah pretty sweet yeah where was your favorite part down in mexico uh loretto always loretto in springtime magic okay but don't don't put that on youtube don't put that on youtube <laughs> too late for that dude all right, and then what's your favorite thing about this Michelson Nomad? I know you've spent quite a bit of time on a few Nomads now. Uh, it's really user-friendly and easy to work on as someone who works on boats and worked on a lot of big manufactured boats. This one's about the easiest and most simplistic one I've worked on. Uh, Ooh, that was a good answer right there. All right, Jake, what do you got for us? What's lots, your favorite thing? Lots of space, lots of storage, really comfortable. Total babe magnets too, right? Yeah. Couple single guys over here, ladies. Hit them up. <laughs> All right, well, when this thing gets hauled out, uh, we'll see if Sam will be gracious enough to uh, give us a little interior walkthrough tour. All right, <laughs> what's up? We got Captain Jared with the Tigers here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, all right. What are you doing? We, uh, we're with Captain Wiseman. We got Captain Yeeter right here. We'll put your little Instagram tag right here. You guys, hit up Jared if you want to go out on a charter this, this summer in San Diego Bay. Tell us about Tigers, 90 foot Nordland? Yeah, 93 foot Nordland, sickest charter boat on the West Coast. Come down to Cabo, let's party. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And this Michael's a Nomad is almost out of the water. Jared was nice enough. I left my drone on his boat in Catalina and he brought it back for me. Hey, hey, special shout out to this guy right here. <laughs> All the guys in the boat yard make fun of me for filming the YouTube videos. So pretty cool, Michelson viewers, that this is our backyard every single day to our office. So I go from checking out the beautiful Michelson Nomad, come in here, say what up to Nick and his beautiful blonde hair. It's, uh, I pay 30. PJ. I pay. Check it out. And lunch is ready to go, Tawny. Got some burritos today, very nice. Love it. We'll, we'll show you guys our local burrito spot. All right, so as you can see, we got the uh, Michelson Nomad blocked up behind me. So we're gonna head on down and see if we can get an interior walkthrough with Captain Sam. Bottom looks good. So I was talking with Captain Sam earlier and he's like, hey, should I change the bottom color or do anything fancy? I've been noticing a lot of people have been painting schools of fish on the bottom of their boat with like a with a stencil and some white spray paint. So we might do that. Oh gosh, who's this good looking guy right here? What's going on, Mr. Scott? Check it out though, it's looking good. Our zincs look brand new. No, just kidding. They must've taken them off already. Running gear looks all right. And this is the cool thing about the Nomad that I always talk about. So the keel right there, the center of the boat is deeper than the running gear. So I know obviously never run your boat or ground, but if you were, the first thing that's gonna hit is your keel, which is really nice. Check these guys out. This ain't their first rodeo. 
Or maybe it is. I'm gonna help him get this ladder up. I don't know anything about this. Though. Yeah, you do. All right, guys, here she is. Foot in half, well, as I fall off the swim set. A 2019 Michelson Nomad. And let's look at some of the custom stuff they've done. Nice pompanet table. You guys use this thing ever? Sometimes, yeah. Just for, just for fishing. Cool. This giant cutting board, very nice. Our buddy Jake, got the nice fold down rod holders over here, nice barbecue area. And Sam was just telling me that he has everything ripped apart because they just got back from fishing. So I'm excited to see what that looks like. So really cool. I don't know if you guys remember when we did this originally, but this is our, this is our down galley layout right here. So on a lot of these Michelson Nomads, the galley's up here, but it, I really like having it down here with this pastor right here. I think it's great for entertaining, everything like that, being able to cook. The other cool thing is when you're night driving, all the light and everything you want turned off. So if somebody's still down here cooking, grabbing something out of the fridge, anything like that, you're not affecting whoever's night driving up here, which is really nice. And you can see this giant settee that folds down. This makes into a nice little berth right here. All right, Sam, I was selling everybody on this down galley layout. Do you like it? Yeah, it's way better for, in my opinion, it's much better because further aft on the boat, if you're going into a head seat, that's better to be further aft. It's also lower in the boat, so if the boat's rolling. For an at sea galley, it's much better, yeah. The refrigerator's facing the right way, so it's not gonna fly out when you're underway, everything yeah, like that. Yeah, stuff tends to stay in there properly, too. Very nice. So, yeah. I was saying for night driving upstairs too, you don't get the glare and yeah, everything. you don't get the glare, you don't get this, you don't get, if you're cooking on the cooktop, you don't get as much steam on, on the windows. It's, so do you have any secrets now that you've been running this thing for a while for somebody that's gonna buy a new one on things that they absolutely must have or do? Uh, I would say these, these, these uh, fridge drawers up top are pretty crucial. Um, like right here or upstairs? You got them upstairs ones, too, right? No, we just have a, we have a smaller fridge upstairs, but the drawers up top are really good. And these are so, fridge or freezers, so you got these yeah. all decked out doing freezer stuff right now? Yep. All right. The bottom ones are fridges. As yeah. we send a bunch of stuff. Awesome. And then the private entrance to the master stateroom down here. What? There's, that's not really made up down there. Oh, that's okay. The lights aren't even on. Yeah, no, but like the bed's not made nothing. Eh, it's okay, dude. YouTube, YouTube is used to that, okay? Guys, we just got the boat plugged into shore power. Sam's going to turn the breaker on for us and make all the lights go, but... <laughs> Gorgeous master stateroom. Pretty cool. Full beam master, full beam head. And this shower is just gigantic, which is awesome. All right, so coming back up, love the private entrance to the master. We're gonna keep heading forward. We're gonna keep bugging Sam over here. His big electrical panel. Big bow, I'll take him up to the bow. So you went three big Garmin displays. Love the teak steering wheel. It's the little stuff. Love the Portuguese bridge. There are classic Michelson controls on either side. I think you guys have seen those. Hopefully if you've been watching our videos, he does have cushions for the seats up here. They are off the boat right now. Really nice bow pulpit, anchor locker. And this Nomad has a flybridge on it with another Marlin tower up top, which I really like too. So we'll head back inside right now, or I'll show you guys actually the starboard side. So just another really nice walkway right here. I love that it's protected from every last in. Um, but the only entrance is this way or the big door in the back. Love the windows. They do spray fresh water out of here. So when you're taking salt sprays, you can wash them down with the fresh water. All right, heading back in, going back down. So normally on some of these videos, you know, at the bottom of the staircase, I'm oh, sorry, Sam, at the bottom of the staircase right here, this will be the entrance to the master stateroom. So I like having it separated into two different things. And I'm sure Sam does too. I'm sure it's a lot easier with the owner and crew to kind of have yeah. everyone separated. No, it's good for that. And then um, you got washer and dryer under here. 
That's super nice. And then our smuggler's cave down here. Forward bilge access. Oh yeah. For people want to see for this. storage. And uh but yeah, oh some tanks gosh. down there as well. But wow. Yeah, good storage compartment. Keep your engine parts down there. It's it's it almost never ever gets any moisture in here. Um yeah, good place for storage for sure. That's awesome. No little, shortage of storage on these boats. Little Michelson secret right there. I love the vessel sink in there. And then up forward, just the VIP with a ton of natural light. All right, guys, and we're going to head back into the engine room and show you that and show you the flybridge and then get out of Sam's hair. All right, one more quick feature I wanted to show you guys before I headed upstairs. But this one has a day head, which I love with the shower inside of it. Very nice feature. A little sub panel for everything you need for your cockpit in here. So you got all your cockpit lights, underwater lights, bait tank lights, deck lights, all that kind of good stuff. Another little VHF out here. Beautiful stainless door. And we'll head on upstairs. All right. So Flybridge E1000 Steelhead Davit, big 13 foot Zodiac tender. I love the docking station. I wish we would have had this the other day when we were wakeboarding because this to be able to drive from or to back down to pick somebody up while you're wakeboarding or fishing or swimming or doing any of that kind of stuff spear fishing it's great heading on forward tons of storage in here and i love the macro lawn enclosure so you're you're comfortable so these guys like captain sam was telling you he's done put 500 hours on this boat just in the last season down in mexico so another three garmin displays up here is awesome of course your steering wheel conventional drive out thrust for all that good stuff and just a great view great view great view i love the stid chairs here the upholstery that matches having the other uh flybridge refrigerator super handy and then your other ladder that leads up to your FLIR camera Oh wow, that's a cool case for the Starlink that I haven't seen before. Starlink, your big six foot radar, a couple big VHF antennas, really nice seating area back here. But for fishing, when you're just out looking through the gyros all day, trying to find some fish, this is a great spot for it. All right guys, I'm gonna head down into the engine room now. All right, heading down into the engine room. So really nice crew quarters in here. Tons of rod storage. And we'll let these big guys get out of here and then we'll get some more footage in there. All right, boys are out for a sec. We're gonna show you guys this engine room. So this has a set of twin Cummins. These are the 600 horsepower very clean look how clean dual ray cores for each engine so you clog a ray core no big you just flip over to the other one and it's awesome because these engines already have a primary filter on them so that is just a secondary for redundancy really nice you also have your vip boxes back here so you can start the engine um the ecu come in or excuse me coleman marine diesel that can like plug their computer into this tell you how much fuel has gone through the engine etc this is their quiet night generator. Their other big generator is in the lazarette in the back. This is their big water filter purification system that all the water, fresh water on the boat goes through. But just all in all, really, really clean engine room. And then around the side right here is your battery bank. Very nice. Your air compressor right there for your horn. Tons of good stuff, but very, very cool engine room and very very cool michelson nomad all right guys it's sam and captain sam with michelson yachts and we're signing off sam thank you for letting us tour your beautiful 2019 michelson nomad thanks for coming and we're out <laughs>